Hi there, I'm Nikki and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will share with you my personal four favorites, four amazing websites to help you write an amazing statement of purpose or motivation letter or an essay if you are applying for a college or university. I personally have been using multiple websites to write research papers since last six to seven years and some of these websites have helped me tremendously have an understanding or have a better understanding of a word, where to use it, how to use it and when not to use it. Most of the times whenever I read motivation letters or statement of purposes from students, I realize they want to make it look good, but they don't know that a certain word they've used is actually not fitting in the sentence or in the context. You cannot just use something that is a synonym. Yes, it's grammatically right, but it's not fitting in the sentence. So you should be very careful in finding out the word that you want to use in your essay, in your motivation letter or anything that you're writing to convince somebody that your application is worth it. So the first thing you should know is what it means and if it is fitting. And for that, I have these four amazing websites for you. Let me show you. Dictionary by Merriam Webster. My absolute best would be Power Thesaurus. I just love, love this website. Your Dictionary and Thesaurus Plus. Why is Power Thesaurus my absolute best? Because let's say I choose a word familiarize, okay? It has an amazing and easy GUI. I can just type a word here and I will have a massive list of synonyms. I can also check antonyms for that word to just be sure and understand the meaning. I can actually go to definitions, which is very important whenever I am using or I'm trying to use a word in a certain sentence to see, okay, whether this is a verb or an adjective or whatever. And finally, I can check for sentences as in help, okay, where they have used these words at all. You know, the idea of writing a statement of purpose is nothing but expressing yourself, your technical skills and expressing what you are, what your capabilities are in just a sheet of paper. Now, you can be one of those people who are very good with languages and you know a lot of words. Go ahead, use them. But you don't always have to use complicated or let's say very fashionable words to just impress somebody. Because if you do not have a proper grip on the language, you end up using the wrong word in the wrong context. And that instead of creating an impression might actually create a negative or a wrong impression that you were just trying to impress, but you didn't do your research properly and you actually ended up using the wrong word. So if you are one of those people who have a good grip and command on any language, let's say English, and you know lots of words and you're very confident about it, go ahead. But if you do not know that, and if you're like slightly uncomfortable and you are unsure, then do not use any fashion words. Take the basic words and express yourself. You know, you or we as human beings don't have to, have to always complicate things. Sometimes easy and simple is the best solution. Much love.